This should be interesting. Hey. Oh, uh, hey. Hey, man. Nice talking to you again. You too, I guess. So, what's up? Your cholesterol. <laughs> Great. So how much do I weigh in 2011? Uh, about the same, pretty much. No doctor visits, no heart attacks, nothing like that. You're still alive and kicking. Oh, thank God. Wait a minute, did you just say thank God? Yeah. Oh, you're still holding out for that? Holding out for what? What, you telling me I'm going to be in that atheist mob mentality in 2011? No, no, trust me, religion is still the mob mentality, even in three years. So then I really do stop believing, don't I? Well, don't sound so disappointed, jeez. But why would I? Ugh. Is something bad about to happen? Would it make you stop believing if it did? I doubt it. Okay, then it must be something else, right? God, why do I always have to play these games with everybody? Three years and I ain't changed a bit, boy. Just wait till you shed that security blanket, man. Just you wait. Well, did it really weigh you down so much? Uh, yeah. And now that you know this truth, it doesn't bore you? Bore me? Shit, no. Well, you ever hear that expression, life is a journey, not a destination? Yeah, yeah. And so if you did find the truth, wouldn't that be sort of like reaching the destination, the end of the process? Victory, so to speak? Well, I don't know if I'd call it victory, but... So what do you do once you get there? You just sit on top of it and just point and laugh at everyone who hasn't gotten there yet? Just sit there and say, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right? I mean, talk about a security blanket. You know what? Cut the straw man bullshit, alright? I thought you'd gotten over that by 2008. Well, maybe you should have called your 2009 self then. Ah, yeah, what's the bloody point? We just agree on everything then. And that would make you even more sheeple than us now, wouldn't it, if everyone just agreed to one gigantic mathematical truth? Hey, I thought of that three years before you did, asshole. And you know what? What? I said to hell with it. I said I'm fine being among the sheeple. Because what's the point of being a rock star when you got no audience? Well, well that's what I'm saying. What? 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 Are we singing a rap song now? Okay, let me see if you figure this one out then. Can you prove that logic exists? Oh my god, don't even play that card on my ass right now. Just don't do it. I'm serious, can you prove that logic exists? No, why the hell should I? But you believe that it exists, right? Even though I can't see it, feel it, touch it, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I thought of that three years ago. You're not telling me anything I don't know here. You know something? Walking doesn't exist either, but I'm doing it right now. You know, and logic is the same way. It's just something you do. It doesn't have to be proven to exist. But maybe you're, maybe you're just too much of a coward to face up to what you're slowly starting to realize here. A coward? I'm not the one hiding behind some stone-cold, lifeless, mathematical, irrefutable truth slash logic. I'm the one who's actually taking a risk taking a chance on something, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Well, for starters, you could die and face an eternity knowing that you were wrong. But if there is nothing after death, no awareness or anything, how am I going to know the difference anyway? You won't have to. I mean, can't you see? That's the beauty of it. Just take all those burdens and flush them down the toilet, man. Just flush. And what about justice? Justice? Well, what about it? Do you think justice is being served in this world as we see it now? Not even 10% of it. Okay then, but if there's no afterlife, there's no justice, right? Yeah, kind of a drag, isn't it? And that's really what you want to believe. That a kid is born in Africa, he starves for five years, finally he dies of starvation, and you believe there's nothing after that for him. You believe there's nothing, no justice for him. Well, sometimes what you want to believe and what you actually do believe are two totally different things. Well, I mean, do they have to be? I mean... When there's no proof either way, you have to choose something. And you're choosing to believe the starving kid has no retribution for all the suffering? Okay, now let me tell you something. You want to know why all that crap's happening in the world? You want to know why there's so much horse shit in this world? Maybe it's because you don't do anything about it. Because you just sit back and say you can feel better about it because you think, well, everything's going to be okay in the afterlife. And Because it doesn't really matter how much they suffer here, they'll get their just desserts in the afterlife anyway, right? Oh, I can't control all that. I mean, what if this is all there is? The real question, my friend, is, is that what you want for them? I never said that. Silence has the loudest voice. Oh, please, stop it. My ears are bleeding. Okay, I'll prove it to you. Prove what? 
that there is an afterlife. Oh, that's rich. How the hell are you going to do that? I die, you cease to exist as well. Oh, no, 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 you don't. Tim! Stop it! Tim! Well, I'll be damned. The son of a bitch was right. Well, at least it let me keep my sunglasses.